Hello, everyone. Um, I, I, pro I pray everyone is blessed. I know this this year, last year, all these years has just been like crazy times. Um, I got some alarming news. More details of the stuff that's going to be happening in the next couple of days, if not starting by tomorrow. And I just want to give you guys a heads up. And I'll pr uh, I ask that you share what, what I'm trying to prepare you guys for. I pray that you'll pr be willing to um, prepare others for it. Um, this is not about you liking and subscribing to my page. If you don't want to do that, you do not have to. For those that have subscribed to my page and that have been sharing my videos, thank you. This, I share the gospel, one. That's number one. And then number two, I try, I'm now trying, as a watchman on the wall, I'm trying to prepare you guys for what's coming. YouTube is not going to always be up. So at first, the first thing I always want to do is go around the world, go into all the world, and I want to preach the gospel, number one. Uh, and then number two, I want to, when there's, because there's so many lies going on in the news, we can't trust the news anymore. So I want you guys to have the truth. God is truth, number one. He gives truth, but we have to be willing to accept it and not believe the lies that that's been, that's been told to us. So I have two videos I'm going to show you guys. They're very alarming, but it's more to let you guys know what's coming so we will be prepared and we could prepare others. So this, this is going to be the first one, then I'm going to show you one right after, and then I'll talk to you guys for like two seconds. I'm not going to um, take a lot of you guys' time, okay? So this is going to be the first one. I hope you guys can see it um, kind of good. This is my little technology. I'll tell y'all. I don't know how to do that split screen stuff. Maybe y'all could teach me something. I can't mute that one. All right, welcome everybody. Get on here with me. We got some things to talk about real quick. This is going to be a sobering message. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I got to bring this message to you, but you need to know. All right, we got about 100 viewers right now, so I'm going to get started. So guys, listen to me very carefully. And I want you to know this potentially may be one of my last videos for a little while, okay? I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it may be, but here's what you need to know. Russia and China are positioning their Navy fleets and their submarine fleets and moving troops around the world right now. There are Chinese troops in Mexico and in Canada. There are Russian fleets moving around in the Mediterranean and positioning. And the suspected reason for this is because they may attempt to invade the United States of America. The U.S. Navy is positioning fleets all around the borders and coasts of the United States. This is not a joke. This is confirmed. I have military members in my family that confirmed that this is true. They were briefed on this. This is not a joke. Soldiers within the U.S. are being repositioned right now, restationed. And our Navy is positioning fleets around our coasts to prepare for a potential invasion. Now, what could happen? We could show enough force that they decide not to do anything. That's what I'm praying to God happens, is that they decide not to do anything. But the reason this is all happening is because the Texas Supreme Court state, which now has over 20 other states involved in it, is a big deal, and it's going to overturn the 2020 election results. It's going to be proven that it was an unconstitutional election in those four states, and it's going to overturn the results, and Trump is going to come out victorious through the constitutional provisions, which allow our Congress to select the president by state legislature votes. When that happens, the deep state, the beast of Revelation 13 that I've been telling you about, the globalist power structure that has corrupted Democrats and Republicans in America, that has turned them into traitors, they are going to be desperate. They're going to look to start violence here in America. And what are they going to do? They're going to ask their allies they're going to ask their friends, Russia and China, to come in and invade us. This is not going to be a civil war with Americans fighting each other. There may be a little bit of that. But this is going to be a war against traitors and treasonous people within our government on both sides of the aisle, guys. This is not a post or a video against Democrats. This is a video against traitors of the United States. 
And I'm telling you guys right now, you need to take this seriously. You need to take this very seriously. This is red alert, guys. Now, like I said, nothing may come of this. We pray to God nothing comes of this and that they see our, our force of our military and our strength and they decide, you know what, we're not going to do it. But I'm not very hopeful for that. Okay? And that's why I'm telling you guys right now, you need to prepare with your families. You need to, this is, you need to work out an emergency plan with your families. You need to have backup power supplies. You need to have food. You need to have ammunition in case you need to hunt or defend yourself. You need to have extra water. You need to have candles. You need to have solar powered phone chargers. You need to have these things. You need to be preparing immediately. I'm not joking, everybody. We are beyond the point of activism and doing protests. This is the point where you need to prepare for a potential invasion of the United States of America. And I'm so sorry that this is going to upset a lot of you. I'm so sorry that this is going to come as a shock to a lot of people. I'm so sorry that we didn't see this coming a mile away. But it's coming now. China and Russia are moving their fleets around. They are moving nuclear submarines towards the United States as we speak. Do you know what that means? That's big deal. That's a, a big deal. And the United States is acting. Now, last month, Donald Trump pulled a bunch of troops from foreign countries and brought them back home. And I thought that was a little bit strange when he did that. Now I see why. And they're moving troops all over the U.S. to prepare for this. So, guys, I'm not joking about this. Like I said before, I have military family members who have been briefed on this that told me that this is real, that this is happening. We're trying to position our fleets to prevent them from attempting something, but they're still heading our way. So again, I say, prepare. Be prepared, patriots. Don't let this come as a surprise to you. Be prepared in case the power goes out, guys. Be prepared in case we go dark. Be prepared. Don't be one of those people that gets caught with nothing, with no plan, and no way to feed yourself or defend yourself. You better be prepared. You better absolutely be prepared and get prepared for what is coming, guys. There is a big storm coming. And it's not stopping until God says it stops. So be prepared, patriots. Not just in Michigan. This message is for everybody in the United States. This is not just for Michigan patriots. Every patriot in the United States needs to hear this, and you need to get ready, and you need to prepare, and you need to form a plan with your family. You need to have a plan. You need to network with other families, and you need to get ready. You guys, God bless all of you. So, th guys, that was the first one. I'm going to show you the guys the second one right now. This is um from uh Pastor Begley. You guys know him. I think he has another channel. I really don't know how I got this, but I got this from another what's the name, and um he put this up. So I'm gonna share you what he didn't even put on his real, no, normal page that he has. So this is another heads up for you guys. Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? This is an uh, some information that was sent to me from one of the Make America Great groups that are out there uh, an air force pilot received this information he then uh sent it to his father-in-law and this is what it says i'm going to try to read it here let's give me one second and uh, this is very important people want to know what's going on we're trying to give you the bits and pieces of information as it comes available he says we need 100 percent of the people indoors to see what the united states military is going to broadcast on everyone's TV sets worldwide. It's gonna be very painful, but we can do, we can no longer have people divided around Sunday or Monday. The President of the United States will send out a message saying, my fellow Americans, the storm is upon us. Um, we will go to full global martial law. He will most likely the president will be on board Air Force One when he sends out seven presidential messages to everyone's phones and TV sets worldwide on an emergency broadcast system. 
from their all global military via U.S. military will shut down all media, that's internet, social media, phones, all TV programming will be all under one channel and emergency services. And so there the United States military can broadcast 10 days of the storm, 10 days of, of sessions, three hour video confessions from a military tribunal, lots of evidence for the scandals listed in the storm while uh, while this is uh, being is happening, they will be removing government, um, making global arrest, and uh, and this will be going on. So Americans will be getting arrested around the globe, not just here in the United States, but in other parts of the world, and people from around the world who have participated in this uh, really this coup attempt against the president of the United States. So. Stay tuned right here on my app for more. Are you serious? Okay, guys, you heard it yourself. Um, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Um, for people that are against Trump, that's on you. I would just tell you to do your research because this is, to me, I don't, I like, listen, it's, it's so bad. I didn't, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even vote like that because it's a more that I know that I'm not going to even discuss right now. But do your research before you sit there and pass judgments on how people are standing for Trump and what. Listen, it's not to me. I stand for truth. So when truth, when you have been lied to for all these years and and you know you've been lied to, you wake up to the truth. That's all you want. I want to be anchored on the truth. I'm tired of being lied to. And that's why I am so glad that God woke me up because he is truth. So I only want truth now. So those that are living a lie and they keep on listening to the news and swear by the news, that's on you. Be prepared for what you're about to see. Just how God told me years ago. Be prepared for what you're about to see. And let's see if you're going to still put your trust in the government. Let's see if you're going to still put your trust in the news. They get paid to lie. It's called tell lie vision. Put your trust in God because he'll show you the truth. Some, don't get out your feelings. This is not about feelings. Like I said, I pray that you guys will share this so you can prepare others. This is not about likes. This is not about subscriptions. If you want to subscribe to my channel, thank you. And by you doing that, I really thank you. And I'm going to be praying for you guys. And if you ever do need prayer, write me on YouTube and, and tell me that you need prayer. And I will do that. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the kingdom of God first. But I, I cannot sit here, call myself a Christian, and not warn you guys for what's coming. So I pray that you guys be blessed and be prepared for what's coming. If you don't have enough water, if anything you don't have, get some water while it's still cheap. Because they, they might start price gouging when things go crazy. Just prepare. God is amazing. And he, sh he, he is showing people what's about to come. Just get prepared. Share this. As quick as you can because YouTube may not even be up for long. So get this out. Y'all be blessed and y'all be safe. Don't be, don't fear. To get your Bibles and pray. In Jesus' name, I pray that you guys be safe. Bye.